Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video from the Veg Grower Podcast and this week as I'm on call I take you on the tour of my plot. Right we'll start this tour as always at the very top of the plot or what I call the top anyway. Um, well actually my neighbours recently taken on that plot to the top and they've been working really hard they had it all cleared although the weeds have now set in as you can see it's a sea of green again. Um, I'm sure they'll be back. They were working really hard. They were down here every day at one point. So, yeah, the rhubarb is now dying back and I'm getting grass and stuff sprout up in between. So, um, I'm waiting for that all to die back and I'll, I'll keep clearing the weeds out, trying to keep on top of it. And then uh, that should look good. I want to give it a good thick layer of mulch. And that's the same all the way across the top and, and with raspberries and things like that. Uh, sweet potatoes just here, they're really still doing really well, growing away like mad. Uh, and in fact that comfrey I've got to cut back uh, next week's job. Uh, these, obviously the strawberries and the nasturtiums that are there, they're still doing really well. Um, nasturtiums self-seeded. I don't generally grow, fl grow flowers, I'm only interested in edible things, but you can actually eat nasturtiums. But they're doing well. Um, I'm waiting for them to die back uh, and then I'll clear them as you can imagine it's I've, I've kind of neglected this top half in the last few weeks while I've been concentrating on the other half um, but yeah nonetheless um, still got the money uh, mounting magic tomatoes they're still growing they're still doing really well I'm really pleased with those ones them and the Crimson Crush have done fantastic this year, as always. The Crimson Crush have always done well for me. Still got a few beetroot in there amongst the weeds. Um, yeah, it's just very weedy on this stuff at the moment. Like the carrots there. You can see there's more tomatoes and the cauliflower over there. But, yeah, uh, it happens. Yeah, I, uh, I've learned a lot this year on this side. Um, and it, it, I kind of pl didn't plan to do much on this half of the plot in this first year, just kind of keep it ticking over. Uh, leeks there, they're still doing good. Um, that's uh, that bit of clear land I keep hoeing. Uh, I've been building this area. Um, I'm going to have down towards the back there autumn raspberries and then strawberries in this bit at the front. Autumn raspberries I've ordered and they're due to come in November so I've kind of built a bed. I've got to add a few more planks in places just to level it up and what have you. Um, the ground is uneven here and I, as I kind of like no dig gardening I try not to dig it. So um, I'll be bringing the level up and to make it level as opposed to digging down. But yeah all I've got to do now a few more boards in place fill it with manure and get the plants in which will be moving a lot of the strawberries from there and those ones at the top to fill up this bed should be good I'll just walk up here you can see we've got more tomatoes and nasturtiums there and there if you can see them our cauliflower let's have a look if I step over this uh, yeah it's not doing bad I don't think it's it's quite made ahead but it's, it's not doing bad there's some kale in here somewhere as well yeah the weeds have taken over the weeds on this side have been really bad this year uh, pumpkin grown out of the compost bin that's spreading away like mad and it's still flowering and i've got a few pumpkins popping up here and there so i can't complain about that right let's keep walking down here globe artichoke has really sprung into growth again so uh, yeah I've got to tidy it up that area the rhubarb here is also starting to die back and again I've got to tidy up that area and get some uh, uh, more manure in there the dinosaurs fallen over Asparagus, uh, I'm hoping that's going to start dying back soon so I can clear that. Uh, more strawberries, I've really got to spend ages weeding. 
drew some artichokes have just gone like mad and they're flowering so that's good i'm hoping they're going to die back soon and then i can start using those and tidying that up uh yes yeah various things elder flowers well oh, elder bush has really grown well that needs a prune this comfrey also needs cutting down and using pear tree we're oh, doing okay and that apple tree i'm pleased with that apple tree if it only produced some fruit now this uh pumpkin plant yeah got that decent plant sized pumpkin i lifted it earlier to check on the side and it's pretty heavy it's looking good i've got another one over there it's smaller but i'm not really interested in getting the biggest ones this year i just want pumpkins that i can use um, this bed is empty except for we've got an aubergine just there and a, a courgette plant there. They're not really doing much so they may come out pretty soon. I'm just leaving them to see how long they last for. Garlic. I uh, planted these last week so you all saw. Um, yeah, if I zoom in you'll see they're starting to show their heads already. A few of the birds have picked some of them so I've had to pop some of them back in but that's to be expected but yeah they're, they're looking good really good really pleased with it onion bed or what will be the onion bed that's empty at the moment i'll be planting that next week yeah still got a butternut squash plants and even flowering but no sign of any butternut squashes again this year i'll try again next year but i've put in some uh, some chard just there which would be good and um, in fact i've got a couple of cabbages they're probably ready i'll pick those when we need them and it's my perennial brussels sprouts still producing some decent brussels sprouts actually they're huge look at the size of them can you see those look at those you know and um, down there i'm amazed with those I'll tell you what well, I got you on camera, so I pick one and see how it goes, how it looks. Yeah, that's bloody good. Despite the white flight, uh, yeah, uh, that's good. Please for that. Right, yeah, a few more cabbages and things there. Um, this PSB kale here, I've got no idea what it actually is. I brought it from CD Sunday and they said it was two in one PSB kale. So perhaps we can eat some of those leaves being kale. I don't know. They're good though, they look pretty impressive. Got more Brussels sprouts, these are grown from seed this year, all along there, and yeah, we're starting to make some sprouts. They're not huge, but I don't mind that. In the netting, last week I planted out some um, broccoli for spring. Uh, there, there's four in a plant that were kind of reserves in case any of them didn't make it, but they all look like they're making it. So that's good. Uh, that potato bed is empty although i've got the three bags there there are three different varieties that i'm trying to keep for seed next year if it works that way and i'm slowly working my way through these potatoes harvesting as and when needed i'm still these are like international kidney and um a second early's not really the uh not even into the main crops yet i've definitely done too many for us however over here the sarpo myras they're still growing so they're doing well the sarpos have done really well here this year just to be expected a few more leeks here they may have been eating those as we need them again um and they're doing yeah they're, they're really good actually i'm pleased with them i've cut rid of the sweet corn up there just cut cut the, them off by the base and left the roots in and then I've got French beans which I stopped harvesting. I'm just letting the uh, basically these seeds 
I want to keep some seeds because they've done so well this year. I want to keep the seeds from them. Just letting them dry out. Hopefully we'll get some seeds from there. Uh, yeah. And if we head... These raspberries here, I'm getting a few raspberries and what have you, I'm kind of fed up with them. Um, soon I'll be digging all those raspberries out and, and putting in new ones, which I've probably got to start soon because they're also due in November. And in fact, the, the yellow ones there, they're doing well, I'm getting plenty of them. And the yucca here really is just uh, we put on a load of growth. It's it's got huge in the last few weeks. So yeah, another good good selection. Good lot of food. And what have you. And down here we've just got obviously all the gooseberries and bushes and trees and things that they're all needing a, a good weed and what have you. Just got to spend a few hours down here one day and just weed the whole lot. So yeah, that's how things are looking up at the beginning of October. Pleased with it, chuffed with it. Still a lot of work to do. But I'm learning a lot from this year and hopefully next year we'll get even better. Well, here we are, let's take a wander around the home plot now. All my herbs that yeah, we see all the time. There's not much really to say about these. We're all getting on, I've got a few weeds I've got to clear out. Yeah, not much has changed there really. They're all doing well, some will be dying back soon. I've got some fever fugis that self-grown there. Self-seeded, I should say. But, yeah. A little kind of raspberry and pottage area, as I call it. Things are starting to die back, so once it's all died back, get in there and have a good, proper good sort out. I suppose we need to cut him back. Now in the greenhouse, this is where we're going to see a dramatic change. So, ooh, coming in. Down this side, there was all the tomatoes. They've gone, blight got them. Uh, so I cut them all out at the weekend and uh, that's kind of, now I'll be getting some compost in here. That, and then, from what I've noticed, under here, see if I can zoom in, see there's a load of leaves. Well, hedgehogs have made itself at home under there, which I'm really pleased about. Explains why I've had no slugs or snails in here. Ooh over the, the, the summer and everything. Um, but they seem, they, they, you know, they found their way in either under there, let's see if I can see it, under there, or under there. So I'm gonna find some sort of tube or something and see if that help them get through. Grape and kiwi are both still doing well. Cucumbers starting to die back down the end there, but yeah, not too bad. This chili's looking really good. Um, I'm going to try and overwinter it in here. Just leave it in here and see what happens. And then we've got the aubergines, which they've been a, a failure again this year, really. And this pepper, which is meant to be a chili pepper, but that looks like a bell pepper to me. So we're leaving that to grow on. And then here we've got the tomatoes that have been salvaged. Saw those out in a bit. But yeah, that's quite a bit different in there now, as we would expect. Rhubarb dying back, but there's also new life coming in. So um, I'll let that die back and treat it as like normal. Now the meadow area, we've actually sown that half. Got to get some seeds for that half, but nothing as of yet, but it's looking it's it's getting there. Now I'm heading to the vegetable patch. So on top of the uh, chickens, we've got various plants. 
chilly. Some of these are going to go into indoors and try and be overwintered and what have you. Some are actually dead and died back. So we'll um, see what we can do with that. Still got this one here, I'm doing well. It's starting to turn black, which I'm hoping isn't ripening. We'll keep an eye on it and see what happens. The actual veg patch itself is pretty empty now. Although the jalapenos over here doing pretty well. They're actually ready, I've just got to pick them, what have you. Sown some more green manures down there. And in this one is ryegrass, which you can just see is starting to grow, or well, grown. Um, I'm letting it establish strongly before I open off a net in a net. The girls do their thing in there. But then over the back here, this one here, is the mustard. That's actually starting to pop on its true leaves, so that will be um, coming off soon in there without the chickens in there. Oh, this whole area needs a good tidy up. In here we've got a few more of the plants and things. They're all doing well. And then we've got some seedlings over there in here and that. And then a few more seedlings in there. So, uh, yeah, things are moving along again. These are probably going to have to go soon. But we'll see. We'll see. Try my hand at overwintering a few more things this year. I think the chickens are also getting a bit too old now. They are uh, approaching two years old. So um, I think they're going to be moved down the allotment over the winter. And we'll get some new ones in here. Oh, I wanted to show you my compost. How, cause I'm really pleased with how my compost turns out. This will be going like pots in the greenhouse soon. If you can see it, beautiful looking stuff. So, right. so just got one more area to kind of work my way through, if we move around here. <coughs> uh, peach tree is definitely die, uh, shedding itself now, so I'm going to move that into the greenhouse eventually. These saffron things, they're really starting to show their saffron things now. So we'll try and um, get some of those growing. That wood I've cut down, I've sent to its pile, so I know what's what. Some of it will be cut down, some of it's burnt. Yeah, yeah more things just over here just can't start to die back. <laughs> Time to get rid of things soon. Blueberries haven't quite gone to the ready colour yet. Bit, bit unusual, bit late, but nonetheless, they're blueberries. I've got a few cabbages and bro uh, yeah cabbages easier to go down the allotment winter cabbage and spring cabbage I've just seen well there we go this is in in the plant there we go that is saffron zoom in these here are the saffron we pick we've got a few there In there, so I'll be picking those shortly. Did you even notice that? That's obviously doing better because it's a bit sunnier here. I think I'm not sure. Hmm. Not nonetheless, we've got saffron. The cranberries and the bubbleberries, and then just the one last. This kind of salady box. These are the celery I planted. Um, they're not 
they're doing okay. I don't know how hardy they are actually, if they're going to see for the winter. Um, I'll just pick them as they are. I won't complain. I've still got the spring onions. They've been in there for ages and not really doing much. And that's just another soil that has seeded itself. So, that is it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Let me leave any comments, suggestions, etc, etc down below. And I will see you all next time.